So Mauro, we're here with which for me are two of your most emblematic wines. Yeah. So we, we have the Parcela Siete, which I think is an absolute classic of Chile. Um, shows really nicely the kind of Aconcagua terroir and varieties. Can you tell me about Parcela Siete and why you decided to plant these varieties here in Aconcagua? Ah, nice. Well, uh, first of all, I'm, I am a wine lover, Bordola wine lover. So when I arrived, uh, uh, to Chile and uh, understanding a little bit the, the history of the, uh, the tradition, the, the winemaking tradition in Chile, well I discovered that it first, the first period was uh, mission grapes mm. uh, till the middle of the 19th century and the second, the second very important period uh, it was the period in which the importer, the, the, the landowner imported a French barrique French variety, mm. French winemaker. Uh, so I, I believe a classical um, uh, variety like Cabernet Sauvignon, mm. Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Petit Verdot, Cote, uh, belongs to the uh, belongs to the history of uh, of the winemaking in Chile. Absolutely. Uh, and that is the, that is the reason. And that is the reason. Absolutely. A personal reason and. Uh, uh, and also a respect of, for tradition, for history. Excellent, fantastic. And I think, you know, this is your your first wine in the in the winery in terms of the scale of, of, um, of quality or premium wines, I guess. But also what I love about this wine is that you age it for a bit longer. Can you tell me about your philosophy of aging wines for some time before release? Yes, uh, that was the first choice for us to produce concentrated wine, uh, wine they are uh, able to, to develop uh, more quality or more uh, aromas with, with the times in, in, with the time in bottle. In so that, that, that is the reason we produce this kind of wine. Uh, they need uh, to spend one year, two years, three years in barrel, it depends on the, of the, of the wines and then a, a enough time in the bottle because um, the bottle uh, it's very it's very important for uh, for achieve uh, uh, affinamento no? mm -hmm. the, the, the affinamento uh, of the wines and uh, and i believe also that the consumer uh, must be uh, in in the position uh, to drink the wines now or to to make a choice if you want to put in the cellar, but mm -hmm. he, he has the right to to drink the, the wine uh, at the same moment uh, he bought in the in the in the shop. Or, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And so, I mean, with the same ethos, this is the new vintage of Tocnar, which is yeah. 2013, so yeah, yeah, almost yeah. a decade old. Yeah. Um, tell me a bit about your love for Petit Verdot, because this is a hundred percent Petit Verdot. Uh, yes, we planted Petit Verdot. Uh, because it was concerned about the about one of the meat, you know, the, yeah. the children wine, they can't afford the time, they can't afford... They can't age. They can't <laughs> age well in bottle, they can't age. So I planted, uh, at that time was, uh, I believe it was the 5% of, or more than 5% of the old Petit Verdot planted at that time in Chile. Wow. It were, so, and, uh, and uh, the first idea, is to use the Petit Verdot in a blend, like in, a, in a Parcella 7. But we discover that the quality of this Petit Verdot, which comes from a stony soil. Mm -hmm. A nice uh, granite, we have it here. Uh, yes, the granite, <laughs> uh, this kind of soil. Um, it was so interesting that I decided uh, I decide to bottle alone. Uh, and of course, uh, there's a variety uh, need a lot of time in mm -hmm. barrel two and a half year average, and a lot of time in bottles before being drinkable. Huh? Uh -huh. uh, okay, Be because the tannin are very, are very strong, are fine, but strong. Mm. You know? And that is the, uh, the characteristic of the Tocnar. Excellent. And what's your favorite food pairing for your Parcella Siete or Parcel 7 and your uh, Tocnar? Do you have a different food pairing? Uh, well, Parcella, it's, it's absolutely, how to say, it's easy going with with every every kind of food mm. um, uh, of course a, a nice roast beef 
but also a, a pasta, lasagna, uh -huh. um, uh, mushroom risotto. Uh, good, it's a, nice. a good, a good pairing. Okay. Very uh, versatile. A very versatile. Yeah, and and Topnar is more a it's the more a meditation wine. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need so much food with this wine. It's enough. Uh, a little bit piece of good cheese uh -huh. and uh, bread and good company and that is fantastic for this wine and a full moon yes of course <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers thank you for cheers. having us okay. cheers cheers, cheers. 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 cheers.